Okay, so to, in today's quick tip, I'm gonna go over this component called offset curve, and I'll show you why I wanted to uh, give you an idea. So let's create a rectangle first, and let's give it a size. So let's go 20, 20, and then here, let's uh, do a fillet. Let's lower that. Okay, and so let's say we have this curve, and we want to offset it. So we have the offset here. We can go to a specific distance, like two, double click, do a two, and it'll give you that component. And there we have, we can change the offset. Now, if you wanted to take these two and just extrude them up and create a solid, let me show you what happens. So let's go to extrude. Let's plug in this curve and this curve. And you'll see that if we go in the vertical direction, so let's go Z and let's go to a three here. We'll see that when we extrude that curve, we would think that it's gonna give us a solid, but it doesn't. So let's go here to high quality so we can see it clear. And it doesn't give us that solid. Now you'd think, now that we have this, we can go to cap holes and it'll just cap in between here, but it won't. It'll actually create a cap for the outside one and a cap for the inside one. Now let's go to flatten and see if that works. It still doesn't work. And let's go to flatten here. And so none of these will give us the solution of a solid extrusion, unless we delete these and we go to boundary surfaces. Boundary surfaces creates a surface where there's a boundary. So let's go here to rectangle and it created one there. And now let's go create another one here. Now they're overlapping. And the reason they're overlapping is because it's two separate ones. Now, if we go right click here and we go to flatten, it looks at it as if it was just one solid in between. There's also another one that you could do, which is loft. You could loft this curve with this curve and get a similar result. But I like boundary surfaces because sometimes when you loft, it'll give you uh, not desirable kind of results. So let's go to flatten here. And now we can easily take this and go to extrude and since we have a boundary surface, it'll actually create it into a solid. So let's go to extrude, a vector of three, and there we have a solid extrusion. So that's what's really cool about being able to use boundary surfaces is you can create solids way easier. Now, the thing that you could do if you didn't want to do it that way, which I don't know why you wouldn't, um, you can go here to extrude one of these and then extrude one of these and there we have we can cap and I've done this many times before it works just as well so if we cap here cap here so this is exterior this is interior and then we could do a difference so solid solid difference we go this is the outside we just said and this is the inside and there we created the exact same thing using different steps. So that's what's interesting about grasshoppers. Well, and Rhino also, is that there's so many different ways to get to the same result. So uh, let me know if you have any questions or if you like the series. Also, if you have ideas for any other component that you don't understand that you'd like to know more of, because I don't know them all, uh, but it just takes some time to kind of play around with it and I could create a tutorial for that. So let me know if you have any questions and thank you for watching.